What's up guys, the Mary Gamer here and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5 and just driving in from the outback or the desert of Los Santos um, actually went and did the question mark, the strange and freak uh, I did was recording but it didn't record the cutscene for some reason that's why I'm redoing my intro right here but um, all it was is, is literally this guy is like selling real estate and he literally has lost all his competition because his friend has taken over and all he wants you to do is go take out all these for sale signs I think it's like all in this area and I think we get the house that was like there or wherever the question mark was I think it was like up here or like around here or something so yeah we get a house for doing that and he sent me a text saying uh, the guy's name's Josh, he was like, uh, there's the website here to find all the signs. So, not a big one. Um, I did record it, but it didn't pick up exactly when, like, during the cutscene I realised it wasn't picking up, but, oh well, it's nothing, not too biggie. Um, it wasn't like a proper mission, it was just saying, telling you to go do something. But, anyway, we're on our way to go do this final mission for this big rich guy. Uh, d uh, I keep on forgetting the guy's freaking name. I want to say Devan, but it's not, I don't think. Is it Devan? Where is his name? Where's the D? Devon, it is. I keep on wanting to say Devan, <laughs> but no, it's Devon. I keep on thinking of other names like David and all like that sort of stuff. I just want to call him D because I just keep on forgetting, so I don't care anymore. I think it's the last mission we have, and I think we get paid for doing it, but we're going to have Franklin and Lamar join us for this, because I think Michael normally does it, I think. <laughs> you hit me! <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. But um, also, I got two calls from, oh, what's her name? It starts with an M. Where is she? Is she in my phone? Yeah. Oh, no, it's her. Uh, it wasn't Emma, it was Patricia. Uh, that's that um, Mexican guy's wife. Uh, she's been she's called Trevor twice now. Uh, let's just drive up this. Should be able to drive up this. I think. Nope. Alright, screw it. <laughs> that was such a bad idea. Uh, yeah, so um, she's called twice, like, trying to secretly talk to Trevor. Then the second one, she kind of told him like, you know, friends, you know, old friends are the best sort of friends, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Lamar, okay. Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team, that's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride, I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Can I get that car there? No? Okay. Oh, it's switching character. Fair enough. <sighs> okay, so it's going to take us to Franklin. Probably. I hope. Here we go. That's Franklin's car. Collect the car. Alright, no worries. So, I believe this is the last mission for Devon. I think that's what they said. I think that's what Lamar said in his text. So. It's actually not too far either, which is good. But, um. I'm interested to know how much this guy is going to pay us if he does. If not, we probably can steal one of his cars. <laughs> I would probably would steal his car, even if it's like, the, like they don't allow you. Like, I'll just refind his house and go visit and see if I can like jump the fence and take one of the cars. That is a nice GT. Alright, let's drive this car. Oh, I love these cars, actually. They handle really nice. Oh, just look at that. The boost home. How did it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. <laughs> yeah, I do know you, fool. I love it when these two are together. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. 
That amateur shit behind me. I'm a... That bitch was pristine, bitch. <laughs> so tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. Man, this motherfucker meant to be me. It's all right. No security. No one saying who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car. Nothing. That's worrying, man. Oh, okay. That's some shady ass shit. Man, shit. Line it up on the carrier, homie. All right, there we go. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no ball. Enough, nigga. Get your ass <laughs> in the truck. Let's go. This is gonna be a fun drive. Sonora Freeway. Pass the oh way. shit! Really? Eight miles? Wow. So we're delivering. Okay, so we're delivering all the cars that we've stolen to this guy. That's what hey, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Cozy in here. Scoot you up, homie. Yeah. I hear police Scoot sirens up, as well. Scooting in that crazy dude? Oh hell no! Nah, that nigga stank. Get over here! I don't bite. Dang what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank. What you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man. Ah, <laughs> uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. Yeah, this is a I long drive. Way. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boy. <laughs> All right, so now we've got this big freaking drive to do. Hey man, what that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He like retired from from creeping. From everything. That's funny, cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude, but considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. <laughs> there weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes, that kills dudes, that fuck dudes, you talk fruity. <laughs> you talk fruity. <laughs> What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, uh, he lied to me. <laughs> I am some bitch he ain't called for ten years. Oh, man, I love Lamar. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. The fucker got fucked. <laughs> he fucked the fucker himself. <laughs> Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. Oh, man, I love <laughs> Lamar. I really do. There should have been more of this guy. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIV. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Oh man, I, I think they should have involved Lamar a bit more. It's a lonely old road. Yeah, I really enjoy his character. Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. <laughs> what the hell? God, no, of course not. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus, but, Trevor. Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just 
Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, can we overtake? I think we can. Alright, there we go. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in hog. <laughs> no shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. Oh, right, I don't like right, that zoom right, in that it does. Touch. Yeah, I don't like that. I need to keep the camera to the side. That's weird. What's Franklin doing over there? Oh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the end. <laughs> that dude, real safe. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever. I have a feeling he's not going to pay us. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now, that's something I want to see. Yeah, this is. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Really? Shit. Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit. I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Well, Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Oh, God. See. Hey, right, keep the truck steady for Franklin. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Got stupid cops on me. Yeah, I'd rather not, my friend. Go cinematic view. I really want to do the cinematic view, but we have to keep the keep the truck steady. He's probably going to want us to switch to him. I don't even know where I'm driving now. I'm just following the freeway, because no way am I going to go through those windy roads. Come on, what are you doing, Franklin? Alright, now we have to change to Franklin. Alright. Def defend the truck from the cops. Alright. Oh, there's... Oh! Okay. You brought the cops right to us, dog. Maybe you should have done the boost, Mr. CEO. Now get on the shit. They keep on coming, homie. Man, we need to save these rollers, nigga. Alright. That's all good. Alright, we keep on popping tires. Let's just keep dropping some spikes. Eventually gonna hit him. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh, he got nailed. Okay, call him Molly. Hello. Hi, this Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Procopio it is! Follow the truck to the drop-off point. Alright. This is a pretty cool car, though. I kind of want it myself, you know? Like, got guns and spikes. That's pretty awesome. So, have a guess we're here. We must be. By the looks of it, we are. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel one. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce. Alright, here we go. Let's see if she actually pays us. 
Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's not paying you. Obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. <laughs> so they just walk away with all the cars. Franklin and bloody uh, Lamar just disappear. Ugh, man. Shit's getting messed up. <laughs> What's going on? Can I swap character? Dialing Lester, okay. Franklin! What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dog. Huh. Um, let's see, his phone is offline, his credit cards aren't active, this is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now, nothing. Damn, is he in the city, dog? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Oh man, that's a long drive. Wow, that 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 is a long drive. Maybe we swap to. Yeah, let, let's swap to um, Trevor. It might be a closer drive because we're at the freaking top of the map, man. That's a few couple of miles. Oh shit, he's only in the town right next to us. Great, <laughs> saved us probably one mile at most. And is it going to swap to him? I think he's in. Is he in his truck? He's taking us good. Lester Crest, I'm amazed you're still with us. Just barely. Look, Franklin needs to see you. He had some trouble securing payment on that last deal. He needs to find Michael. Oh, look, I don't know nothing about that. But if he had trouble getting payment, that's my problem too. I mean, I took half those cars. Fine, whatever. Just tell him you don't know where Michael is, but do it in person. He'll be at his old place on forum. Alright, so either way, actually, we'll drive to, yeah, yeah, we'll drive here. If we can drive there, okay, we're practically going to drive the same way we were going to if we were playing as Franklin. But if we drive there, then we could take a helicopter or a plane and fly it to Franklin's place. And then that probably will be it for this episode, although... Probably by the time we get there, it's going to take us a good five minutes maybe to get there, I reckon. Which is frustrating. But, I will keep the camera rolling and we'll just drive it. But, I knew, I just knew that guy wasn't going to pay us. Like, the woman was like, ah, oh, he will invest it and distribute it later bullshit <laughs> yeah that was just a polite way of saying that you're getting robbed my friend and um i can either say i want to steal those cars or i want my money <laughs> and to be honest i wouldn't mind stealing the car franklin was driving because that would be pretty boss taking on some cops with that you know taking on the army and shit like that with those guns in the front the spikes at the back you'd be laughing Alright, well, we got two and a half ish miles to get to Franklin's airbase, and I did park the plane at um at the at Franklin's not Franklin Trevor's little hangar, but I don't know if it worked. I really don't, because it's not like Saints Row, like when you put the vehicle in, it disappears and you just like go back to it and it'll reappear. Like I really like the garage system in Saints Row, but. It would be interesting to see if it saved that vehicle. If not, eh, it's a bit frustrating because, you know, it means that 
I don't have to, because we have a plane at the other hangar that's like, I think we're like passing now near the farm or something, but it always starts a mission, like you have to go drop off packages and things like that, because I bought the hangar out for, um, for Trevor. So it always starts a mission if you take that plane, which is frustrating, and I don't, I don't think so. You can quit a mission. Oh, random event, hitchhiker. Yep, no, I'm just going to keep on driving, my friend. <laughs> Can't be bothered doing it. Because she's probably going to want us to go the opposite direction. And we already are a tiny, tiny bit pushed for time. So we're less than a mile out. We're about 20-odd minutes in. This episode, probably when we start that mission, it's probably going to go to 40 minutes. It wouldn't surprise me. And I didn't see that coyote. <laughs> I do actually, I really do like this area, I've mentioned it before, I really wish the desert area that they have uh, in this game was bigger. I feel it's too small. And that was a complete fail. Alright, let's, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Alright, moment of truth, did that plane save in that hangar? Because if not, then we're going to have to take Trevor Phillips Enterprises helicopter, which I don't really like flying. Ah, oh, yes, it did save the plane. Wonderful. All right, well, let's just get rid of this because we don't need it. And we're going to take this plane. Do we have a... We don't have a parachute. Can I... Why can't I hop into you? I'm pressing Y. All right, there we go. Alright, we're going to have to land this, because I don't have a parachute. So that's going to be even more interesting, because the area Franklin's aunt's house is, is a um, pretty heavy suburban area. So, that... Shit, this plane's heavy, it's not taken off. Come on! Ugh. Wow, that took its good old time. <laughs> Alright, this should make it much easier, much more faster, and geez, the turbulence, you can see it, it's pretty, pretty heavy. And one day I do want to actually land in there and see what happens. It'd be interesting to see. I'm surprised there hasn't been a mission there yet. I reckon there will be, actually, when you think about it. It's quite... Yeah, I reckon they'd have to have a mission there. Maybe. Maybe you get... Ooh, that, that might be it. Maybe you get arrested and you have to break out. Ooh, actually. That, that could be it. That might be what it's used for. Because every time I've tried to break in, I've been sniped. So, there's no... Like, the, the, the snipers are pretty accurate as well. Every time I've got close to it, or, like, close to jumping the wall, I get shot, and I'm pretty much dead every first shot. If not, I'm, I think if I had the heavy armor, I think I can survive a, a first shot. I haven't tried with armor, actually. But this is going to be interesting to see if we can land this. Okay, we're actually getting close now. What's this? Is this... This is a road in front of us, isn't it? Maybe we land on this. Yeah. Let's land on this road here. Alright, this is going to be an interesting landing. Alright, let's touch down. Oh, shit. Alright, let's get out quickly before this thing explodes like last time. <sighs> Alright, let's, let's, let's take a car. Oh, this guy's going to fucking want to hit us. Alright, why don't we just steal his car? Because he's a... Alright. Oh, really? Oh, it's because there was a cop car right there. <laughs> How luck. God, this game loves throwing shit at, like that at you, doesn't it? Alright, uh, where can we hide? Because we've still got cops on us. How have I not lost the cops yet? Surely, yeah, there we go. Wow, okay. Um... Where can we hide? Where can we hide? Where can we hide? Alright, let's just... I say, let's just park right here. And the moment 
they look like they're coming close to going around that corner there. We're going to pelt it this way. Uh, oh shit. Okay, no, that guy... Okay, good, we lost him. I thought that cop that passed us in front was going to take a turn down here, whilst the other one from the other side was going to take a turn from the other way. I thought we were pretty screwed then for a second. But... We're almost at Franklin's aunt's house, which is perfect. They're not chasing me, are they? I'm pretty sure they're just chasing someone else. Alright, but here's Franklin's aunt's house, and there's Franklin right there. So here we go. Here's a cutscene, and with his crazy aunt. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. What's up, homie? Huh? That was damn funny, man. Oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt. Is that funny? No, man. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground. You laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you, oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act, you little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was fun, alright? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? Alright, so. Let's hug it out. Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Nah! Nah! <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I had a difficult. Childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know. Look, I love you, right? But I would have, I would have just look, fucking. Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael, fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. <sighs> what was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Everybody! Asshole! Oh, man. As much as Trevor's a freaking maniac and insane asshole, he is funny ass man that was brilliant hey it's me what did trevor say man michael's being held by a chinese crew because of trevor the irony isn't lost i'm sending you an app for your phone michael's cell just came back online this will track its signal it'll work better the closer you get be careful sure all right we got some new app oh here's michael i told you he ain't my Gila. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor yeah. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him. Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, hey, hey, hey. Let me down. Let me fucking down. Shit. All right. Switch to Franklin. So we don't have much time. How, how do I track him? Find Michael's location. Text. 
No, we got email. Didn't didn't Lester send us a text or something? He sent us an app, didn't he? Trackify, there it is. Oh, this way. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we don't have much time, so let's f keep on this road. So it's the most straightest road, which means we'll get the most speed as long as I don't crash, which is very likely that I'm going to crash. He's held in probably some sort of warehouse or meat factory or something, so he's going to be out in the industrial state area. Okay, yeah, he's going to be out this way somewhere, I reckon. So let's keep going here. Let's take the last right. Which is not this one, it's this one coming up here. Oh wait, hold on. Oh shit, we're right next to it. Hey, he's in there somewhere. How'd you get in? Yeah, how the fuck how do you get in? Alright, there was a Man, fuck this shit. Alright, we're right next to it, but how the hell do we get in? I can't drive that way. There's a ladder back here. I'm going to go up this ladder. Yeah, let's get up that ladder here. I reckon it'll have something to do with this ladder. No. Shit, man. I don't know how to get in. Alright. Oh, shit, man. Come on. <laughs> Alright, well, we know he's in this building here, but we need to get the hell in. But how do we get in? Maybe around the other side, maybe? This is... I'm just having a guess. I have no... I have no freaking clue. But we know he's on this block. Alright, come on. Yeah, it's probably... Oh, man, I have no clue. Yeah, probably, probably here. This looks, this looks right. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Okay, we need to take these guys out. Let's do this. Oh shit! There's a lot more than them than I thought there was gonna be. All right, let's just do this and just go there. There we go. All taken care of. Rescue Michael. Alright, no worries. That was relatively easy so far because of that grenade launcher. I hate this flashlight, man. Where's the other twat? Alright. He's taken care of. This guy's just standing there like an idiot. Oh, that would have freaking hurt. Alright, I have to be careful not to die here. Machine stuck, man. Get here before it comes back and eats me. Come on. Give me a sec. Man, I can't lock on to the people I want to lock on. You ain't gonna get me. Trevor don't give a shit about this motherfucker. I'm coming, man. Ow, that was pretty, pretty graphic. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Two seconds. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh. This is gonna be nasty. More guys oh oh shit, man, that was that was nasty. I need a weapon, Frank. Throw, throw Michael a gun. All right, give Michael. All right. I think we're all good here. Here, 
Come on, kill this last twat. Alright, uh, let's switch to that gun, thank you very much. Clear the corridor. No worries. I don't mind killing these guys. I turned off my light. Stop turning it back on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sweet. Oh, that would have freaking hurt. Escape the slaughterhouse. No problems. Alright, can play as Franklin or Michael. We're gonna play as Michael. That's the last fucking time I get mistaken for Trevor's friend. Back off, man, let us go! Alright, this guy is pretty much dead. Man, I've shot this guy so many times. How are you not dead? Just die, my friend. You're not... You're not freaking Superman. Nut shot, nut shot, nut shot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, let's change to Franklin, because I need a better gun, man. Alright, let's get to the car. Let's get the hell out of here. Thank you for moving my car. Or oh, is that a new car? Jeez, get, get, get in, get in, get in. Jeez, man. Bloody let him shoot the car out. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, really? You fucking piece of poop. <laughs> alright, let's get this. Jeez, this freaking asshole. Drivers. Can you die, please? Thank you very much. That it? We clear? Yeah, man, we clear. Fuck me, man. What a scene that was. That's about the size of his shit. Yeah. Whew. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kinda. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankton. Yeah, I think yeah. he wasn't coming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. Freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me. He fucks off. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin Weston? Weston? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. <sighs> Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. Alright then, I'll see ya. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough. <laughs> Alright, well listen, thanks. Look man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Uh, man, before all that, I'm talking about the fade. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. 
I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. <coughs> hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Just say. Okay, I think that is it, maybe? Or is Trevor going to be sitting here waiting for us? Okay, I think that's it. I th yep, mission passed. Awesome. Well, uh, there's probably going to be a cutscene after this, the fact that it's giving me a black screen. Yeah. Alright. Or is this just me taking back control over Michael? Yes, it is. Okie dokie. Well, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... It definitely was an interesting interesting episode and um, I'm really looking forward to how this story really does unfold but it really does need to be time for me to end the episode is running a bit too long so as usual hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time catch you later guys